welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse of today is in Proverbs 14 verse 10. Its heart knows its own bitterness and no one else can share its joy. No one else can share the joy in your heart. This is the truth that we are being told today. Yes, you are rejoicing. And often it's being asked to understand why you are rejoicing so much. It's just overflowing. Wow. Un unstoppable. You know, you just are overflowing with joy. And nobody can share that. All we can do maybe is to, uh, to cheer you and say, come on, well, it's good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. But the, actually the joy that's in you, friends, because that joy reflects even in the goodness of the Lord, how the Lord had moved in a special way, in a mighty way, which others cannot appreciate because they had not gone through your struggle. Now that you are free, friends, express it fully. Wow. <laughs> Amen. In the same manner that no one can share in the bitterness of your heart. Well, that burden that you have in your heart, no one can share. How can they help you when they could not actually experience or know what's actually happening inside? You are so burdened. Well, maybe you are waiting for something and there is so much fear within and that is part of the burden that you're carrying. Because there are many things else that you are thinking about which others don't know. And because of that, friends, they could not share in your bitterness. You can grieve, you can cry, and they maybe look at you and say, what? You're crying for these small things? And they belittle the reason why you're crying or why you're burdened. But they just don't know what's happening within. Amen. Because they could not share in the burden of your heart. And therefore, friends, it is even better now for you to go to the Lord, directly to the Lord, rather than going to your friends, going to people and tell them your burden. Because they could not understand. They could not feel what you're feeling. They don't know the fear that you have in your heart. So if you go to the Lord, friends, He will release you of your burden. Amen. He alone can understand you fully. Remember that He, the Lord, is the one that uh, created you and me. And He knows what's going on. And He got a solution for our problem. Amen. So why don't you cast your cares upon the Lord? Because He cares for you. That's why he said that cast all your cares. Come on, are you burdened? Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. That is the very reassuring word of the Lord. And so friends, if you are burdened, since nobody else can share your burden, trust the Lord. Amen. And trust it to the Lord. Well, to us, friends, that, that will try to help you, well, it's easy for us to say, oh, come on, I press on. Trust in God. Believe in God. It's easy for us to say that. But friends, we just don't know what is going on in your heart, in your life. We cannot feel the burden. Amen. Even when people say that, oh, empathize rather than sympathize. Sympathize is, well, I, I feel sorry for you. I feel so sorry for you. That's sympathy. But to empathize is try to receive the same burden. But friends, it's so limited. How can we actually experience your burden? Then, entrust it to the Lord. Amen. So if you're going through uh, some kind of a burden today, entrust it now to the Lord who said, cast your burden upon me. Amen. And if you are overflowing with joy, well, just express it. Rejoice in the Lord again, I say, rejoice. Amen. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace, His alone. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.